Well, some good news. I got a new four-year deal. They must like what I'm doing. 62000 a month and some change. I won't turn my nose up at that extra $500 a month. Let's get back for some action as we end up the season here. We'll see you guys right after the intro. Well, after the 9-9 nine and nine run that we had last episode with wins over PSV and FC20 uh, that you saw last episode, uh, we have continued our winning ways for the most part. A 3-0 clean sheet win over Almir, uh, Anton Kernjik with a goal, Vicario with a goal, and Jean DeVos, one of our new players with a goal, and Ajax, we stun them 3-0 DeVos with a goal, Vicario with a brace. Unfortunately, Vicario went down in this match, and he will miss the remainder of the season. Against Feyenoord, a 2-2 draw, Resnick and Kernjik with goals. Resnick now playing up top. We'll have highlights from Breda and the season finale with, against Haravine today. If you do like what you see, please hit that thumbs up button and give me a like. Uh, that's how I ask you to support the channel and uh, subscribe if you're new. And don't forget daily football manager content here on the channel. So make sure you hit that notification bell. As you can see, I've got my pop filter. You can kind of see in the screen now. I'm just trying to get the sound. I noticed the sound was off just a little bit the last couple of episodes since I moved my desk and my office around. And so, you know, I'm, I'm still tweaking things. So bear with me a little bit as I try to play around with the settings and placement and uh, got a new, uh, new uh, light here. Uh, so I know those get a glare off of my glasses. I'm not really sure how to even angle these lights. So if you have any feedback on that, let me know. Uh, but otherwise, we're going to get into the match. And look, I want to give you guys a big thanks. Uh, you know, channel is, you know, doing very well. We have jumped up to 613 subscribers. We, you know, I think this was my biggest subscriber growth uh, this last week in quite some time. Uh, I did start a new American football manager save, not with the football manager game, but American football. And uh, actually one of my highest rated videos in quite some time. So uh, if you haven't checked that out, give it a look. Because uh, we're doing a journeyman, kind of like we do here in Football Manager. As you can see with the run of form, we are still just behind FC20. 54 points to their 55. Two points behind AZ on 56. And we have the superior goal differential basically all the way up to Heron Bean in third position. Six points left to play for. We can do we can do this, but we've got to win. I think we've got to win both matches. Let me get the first match played, and we'll check out the highlights. So Breda was sitting 18th in the table for this match, and uh, we, of course, are looking to try to crack the playoffs. This was an exciting match, uh, a little more exciting than I would have liked it. There was a cheap header, a good cross in. Timmers got a header and beat Kaiser. Uh, went right back across him like a good striker is supposed to. Uh, Barisic, beautiful through ball. Resnick buries it in the top corner. There's an equalizer and fifth minute, and we are already two goals into this match. 24th minute, we are building from the back. Kaiser with a horrible clearance, and Timbers just places it right back into the net. That might be the cheapest goal I've ever seen. There was a tackle, bounces to Resnick, and he just walks it to the touchline, slides it past Vaskovic, and 47th minute, we are even again. 72nd minute, midway through the second half, through ball, good pass in, but I thought maybe there was an offsides, not called. Timmers gets his second goal, and we find ourselves in a hole. But again, we answer real quick, Aaron with the goal, Grutunk with the through ball, 
We don't see many Aaron goals, but there's the equalizer. 89th minute, header to the back post, and Kernjik slots at home. We're up 4-3. to three. That's got to be the winner. Stoppage time just a minute later, and it comes to McKendy, who beats Kaiser at the near post. And this one ends in a 4-4 draw. Timmers with the hat trick. Two goals in the final minute, two minutes of the match. We dominated the game statistically, uh, but we let that one get away. Uh, Neck Myers, of course, is out for a week. Hopefully he'll be back for the last match, but you can see there Vicario out for the rest of the season. Gerber's going to miss the rest of the season with that broken leg. Meyer now out for a week, and Krujan is out for seven weeks, so he is done for the season as well. Let me get up to the last match. Well, I tell you what, real quick, let's finish the day. All right, so Willem wins the league. And we are now three points back with the draw. So looks like FC20 and AZ both won. But Tessie must have lost, I am guessing, uh, as we have now closed in on them. But we play Heronveen. We need to win our match and then hope both of these sides lose. That's the only way we can get above them and qualify for Europe next year. We were only supposed to avoid relegation, so we're going to do that with plenty of room to spare. But honestly, well, you know, I, I say I'm disappointed, but we've been solidly mid-table all season long. All season. So there's really... No, no, there shouldn't be any disappointment not going to Europe this year. But we qualified last year, and you want to build on that, right? So I don't know. I don't know. If we start regressing, maybe it's time to end the save. We'll, we'll, we'll think about that. Uh, probably back for at least one more season. My wife must be awake. So let me turn off my text notifications. <laughs> She is now trying to get attention. All right, well, we'll be back for the final match against Heronveen. See you in a second. All right, we are back for the final match of the season. We're going with Kaiser in goal, Barisic on the left, Okachi on the right. Van Beckel's going to get the start today alongside Casella, Meyer, and Grutunk in the mid. We're going to give Martina a start at the left wing position. Do I want him as an inverted winger? Yes, I want him cutting inside. DeVos, a winger on the outside, and Kernjik and Resnick up top. Uh, Kernjik has 32 goals on the season. You can see that there. That is also the club record set by Vicario. So with a goal in this match, Kernjik will become the, the DeGroff shop uh, scoring leader with goals in a single season. Let's get into it. Remember, we have got to get a win and hope that two other sides lose for us to backdoor it into Europe for next year. Not expecting that we will get all the breaks. I'm not even sure we can beat Heronveen. They are such a good side playing well. Let's give them some encouragement. Come on, boys. Let's get it done. All right, there's DeVos. He controls it, brings it up across the mid. He's got two runners. Kernjik in space, and, oh, he misses it just wide of the mark. That would have been the scoring record there, and I think he should have had that. Oh, my goodness. I think he had a really good look at that back post and just sent it wide of the mark. Come on, fellas. We can do it. Headed away, Grutu clears it out. Resnick can't get there. Meyer collapsed off of that ball. That was odd. Comes back and tracks that one down. Poor clearance from the back line up into the mid circle. Really having an issue.
Uh, two good saves by Kaiser. Barisic was beaten by Terwellen, and he got two attempts at the goal. And Kaiser with saves twice. FC20 has beaten Groningen. That doesn't hurt us any, I don't think. All right, DeVos up across midfield. He's got two runners, but he is left open. He takes a crack at the goal, and Polk makes the save. Yeah, it looks like the other sides are winning because we are now four points down. Terwilen all the way on the left flank on this attack. A reverse field. Van Beckel with a good header out. Barisic tackles it away. A uh, big through ball. Good save by Kaiser on Stam's effort. But a poor clearance. Come on, fellas. Halftime. We've only had one shot on target. Let's put hands on hips. Let's motivate them a little bit. Let's encourage them. All right, DeVos just outside the box. Takes a crack. Oh, and he slots it home. His third goal of the season. He's been a good signing for us. He hasn't scored a ton of goals in the second half of the season, but that is definitely one of the clubs that he has in his locker. Oh, and that was a thing of beauty. Did not have a shot at the at the ball. He put it around the wall. Sturks, wasn't that one of our guys at one point? Oh, it's off the crossbar. Cleared away by Barisic. We get a little lucky there. Come on, fellas. Meyer is tiring a little bit. Another header out. Thought he was maybe offsides, but Daniel Smith gets his second. He's wide open at the back post, and we have let this get away. Come on. Uh, just a runner. Okachi gets beaten at the back post. Gave Smith a free run. We're going to demand more. I think that's a horrible shout by the assistant manager, and I see that all the time. My save, anybody else that I watch, where he says, oh, they're one yellow card away from getting suspended. Okay, and? Uh, I'm going to pull Meyer. Let's bring on Dornbosch, the loney. Actually, you know what? Meyer's mid-center. I'm going to bring on Cervenka. Bring on Cervenka there. And then tactically, I want, I'm going to slow tempo and passing directness down a little bit to see if we can maybe do a better job of controlling the ball there. All right, Barisic on Van Hoof. Plenty of people back. We push forward. Oh, what a crack by Safari. You got to give him credit. 19th goal of the season puts us in a 2-1 hole. And that probably spells the end of our chance at Europe. And it may not have mattered. I don't know what the other scores are. But... Now, I don't see the ability to get a win. Let's pause it for a second. So we're looking at, uh, yeah, AZ, FC20. AZ is losing, so AZ has fallen. So we would have to, have to catch them. They were high enough we couldn't catch them anyway, even losing their four ahead of us. So it was uh, FC20 and Vitesse. So Vitesse's up 2-0, FC20's up 2-0. So yeah, I don't think we were going to win anyway. 
So I'm going to do something. I'm going to go to another tactic. It's a 3-4-3 Tiki Taka. And haven't played this before. But right now we have nothing to lose, right? Now the drawback is, of course, we're not very fluid at it. So I may be shooting myself in the foot. But everybody else looks good. Uh, we have to make one sub out of there to get a you know number 10 in there. Good clearance. Resnick finds Kernjik. Oh, what a turn by Kernjik. He is in. Cannot beat the keeper. He just went too deep. Cut his own angle. There's our, our tactical change that just took place. Let's demand more. Stam. He's through. Beats Okashi. And... I don't know what that was. I don't know if he was looking to play it through the box and nobody was there. Oh, and Stam with his second goal of the season. I want to say, isn't Stam the guy at uh, FM Scout? I wonder if that's a name in the game person. I don't know. But either way, all of our defenders just uh, let them walk through the back line. Not happy with that. I'm gonna well, I can't I can't even berate him here. All right, uh, who is struggling? Okashi. Probably should have pulled him off earlier. Martina's also not doing well. Tell you what, let's bring Servinka up to his spot. And then let's bring Doran Bosch in for him. The so Dorn Bosch will get an appearance here in the last game, Arloni, before he leaves. I'm in. I'm. I'm interested for this tactic for next year, just to you know at least to go through the off season with it, let the guys train up on it, um, and see what they can do with it. And Resnick. He gets the goal, and I believe that's his 33rd of the season. Oh. Again, even if we would have won, what a great run by Cervinka. And then Resnick going through Sturks to get the toe on the ball, put it into the net, and I think that is the record for him. We're going to lose this 3-2. to two. We played well. I mean, we really came back into this, but they just had the much better chances. We gave up a couple of cheap goals. Uh, I'm going to point the finger and... Uh, we'll say unlucky. I don't think it would have mattered. Let's check the scores. FC20 ended up winning, and we needed both of them to lose. So, Vitesse... Vitesse ended up drawing with Venlo, and they ended up on 59, so they got a point as well. So we needed a win and both of those clubs to lose. AZ, AZ came back and got a 93rd-minute equalizer. Chris Natuba scored in that one. So we didn't, get an, we didn't get a decision in any of the games that we needed to go our way, so... That's it. That is it. We will not be in Europe next year. Uh, we are going to be in the playoffs. So that's how we qualified last year. $10 million. That's good. And we will be playing Feyenoord. Do we come back for that? You know, I don't think so. I don't think so. I do know it's playoffs, but if we if we win this, then we have the playoff final. Uh, I think what we do is we come back. I'm going to go ahead and do the playoffs. I'm not going to video that. Uh, I will play the playoffs myself, and we will come back for the next episode. will be the season wrap-up, transfers, and we'll also go over... Uh, the playoffs, how we finished there. If there's anything of interest in those, I will show you highlights from it. Uh, the goals, if you know, if we do well, um, 
But, you know, either way, we're either in or out with the playoffs. I don't see the need to actually video that. I'm going to make the call there. So uh, we'll end the season here, and uh, we will touch base next episode with the playoffs on how we did, whether there is Europe next year, like if we can backdoor through the playoffs or not. And, uh, yeah, so we'll we'll do it there, guys. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And remember, notifications for daily Football Manager content Monday through Saturday. Have a good one. Take care, guys. Bye.